You know, so the way that Wayland has been looking recently, it's a little bit tempting. Should I switch? Uh, I think... Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Wayland has been huge recently. It's been improving exponentially. There's just been so many crazy updates. And a lot of people are switching. You know, now it's kind of the battle between Exorg and Wayland. And it's been going on for a bit now. But it's always been laughed at as like, oh, well, Wayland is just like not ready and it's this and that. But to be honest, if NVIDIA like was fully supported and there's like a couple little other things, then I really don't see what would like stop people just from fully switching to Wayland. Like, why would you want to be on Xorg? Especially since like, you know how there's like Wine and you can run like Windows programs. I think there's something very similar where you can, you know, use uh, Wayland and then run Xorg programs. So if you can use all the Xorg programs that you've been using before, plus the Wayland features and all this and that, then why would you not want to switch to Wayland? And um, right now, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm considering it. Um, it was actually, the thing that made me really consider it is uh, Bugs Rider. Bugs Rider is a G, is actually what really got me into um, like Linux and using like shell script and all that. But um, Bugs Rider recently uh, swapped, I believe on his laptop, because I, I think he also has like a laptop and a computer. And I think his uh, main setup is Nvidia, but I might be wrong. But, um, yeah, yeah, he's on a Zen book or whatever. <clears throat> so, it looks cool. Like, it just, it looks cool. The animations and stuff and, you know, it's like a whole new setup and stuff. So, it, it is cool. But, um, I don't know. I tried it, because my computer, if we look at here, I've got uh, Crap Video. Cra crap Video GeForce uh, Crap TX <laughs> 1060. So, no, I, I like NVIDIA, like, overall, like, I mean, not really. Like, when I used to be a gamer, um, obviously, NVIDIA is just, like, better for games, usually, but now even that's changing, so it's like, why should you even like NVIDIA? It's not even open source, it's not even this and that, but, um, like, the animations just look cool, like, that's just very clean, and I think you've seen in some of my other videos, like, I've kind of fixed it now, I think, but my other videos uh, recently, the there's been crazy amounts of screen tearing, and I believe it's from Xorg and my like recording system. So um, it's tempting. It's very cool. But when I was going, when I was trying it on my computer, when I was trying it on my desktop, oh sorry, should I say that when I was trying it on my laptop, when I was trying, uh, I was trying Hyperland because that's very close to DWM. The thing is, it's not well documented right now. Like, honestly, like, I was trying to rice it out and stuff, and there just really isn't that much information. So that's the first, like, major problem that I had, is, like, there's not that much information. Compared to, like, DWM, even DWM, I consider very obscure, but there's just so much, like, resources to actually, like, rice it out and still compare to um, Hyperland. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I wasn't looking in the right places or I wasn't trying hard enough, but genuinely couldn't figure it out. So that's one thing that's kind of stopping me right now. Another thing is the fact that I don't want to like really like learn everything over again, you know, like when I started on DWM, you know, it was a huge change. Like you have to get used to this and that and this. And I've been, I've been on Linux for over a year now, well over a year now. And I'm used to it. I've been on DWM for well over a year now. So I'm, I'm fully used to it. I'm completely like to be honest i feel like i don't even know and i don't even fully utilize my computer as much as i could be right now so i feel like i'm more interested in actually using my computer more with dwm than i really am starting all over again because hyperland like i'm sure you can change the binds to how it is with dwm and stuff but you have to understand i spent a huge amount of time customizing D dwm like a huge amount of time and back then, I didn't really have other stuff going for me right then. So it was, I was okay with it. You know, I was very interested. I was very passionate. But you have to understand, I'm not, I'm not as passionate as I used to be about Linux. Like, I really started making these videos recently. Um, but that's about it. Like, outside of videos and YouTube, I'm not really, like, researching that much about Linux anymore. Because I'm fine with my setup. Like, I'm genuinely contempt. Um, sure, Wayland looks cooler. Um, it does have features that... Uh, Xorg can't compete with. It's newer. It's 
not as um i believe exorg is like pretty like bloated in a lot of ways i heard that uh wayland is also better on battery life which is very interesting it's getting me you know interested but i think overall i don't know it's something that i still need to consider i tried using wayland and hyperland on uh, this computer as well however obviously nvidia you have to do a whole bunch of stuff. It's just something that I kind of don't want to go through right now. And have the idea of like beginning all over again, rising, getting used to the setup, this and that. It's just kind of, I don't know. And right now, I think if I was to be using Hyperland and Wayland, I'd still be like kind of like, it's almost like dual booting like Windows. Like I'd be dual booting Xorg and Wayland depending on my use case. So I don't know. It's something to consider. If you've started using Wayland or Hyperland uh, compared to Xorg, please tell me about what your experience has been so far. It seems a lot of people are really liking it. But um, it's yeah, it's just something I don't really care about right now. I don't really care about rising too much, but I'll definitely consider it. I think once NVIDIA support becomes better, then maybe. But um, I don't know, if you'd like to see more videos on Wayland and Hyperland and that kind of stuff, uh, I'll make more videos. I'll check it out maybe. But um, right now... For my own personal use, probably not. Not for now. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, subscribe. It helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.